Hello, this is your favorite show, Meet Child's Show. Today I bring you another exciting topic, correcting the wrong impression of Nigerians in the diaspora. So much worse things, bad things have been said about Nigerians in the diaspora. Are these stories true? Are we not just cooking up stories to destroy our own brothers and sisters from Nigeria? With me here to do the discussion is my own man, Mr. Ola Kunle. Peter, you're welcome to the show. This Thank is the Meet Child Show. It's your own show. Feel free to talk, express your views, and hey, we will correct something today. So we're going for a break. When we come back, Mr. Peter, would like to tell something about himself and we start the show or the discussion. Keep watching. So welcome back your favorite show, Meet Charles. Um, Mr. Peter, would like to say something about yourself and we just start the discussion. Why so much noise? Why so much negative impression of Nigerians in the diaspora? Who is causing this? And how do we correct it is the topic for discussion today. But first of all, who is Mr. Peter? Um, well, my name is, um, um, th thanks for having me first and um, I appreciate you for bringing me on this program once again. Uh, my name is um, Peter and I am a resident in Germany. I am a postgraduate, a postgraduate student um, in agribusiness and rural development economics and I'm from Nigeria. Um, talking about um, the misrepresentation of um, you know, Nigerians in the diaspora uh it is actually a, a very sad situation you know to actually you know uh, see or to know that um the image of um uh you know nigerians you know in the diasporas are being uh, misrepresented uh, misrepresented i call it you know misrepresentation you know because um uh the stereotype that people you know uh you know have about you know the nigerian you know uh youth, especially those uh, in the diaspora, is um, really, really a sad one. Uh, and that's basically because of, um, you know, what people, you know, hear about Nigeria in the news, you know, and that's the image, that's the stereotype that most African, you know, uh, brothers and sisters form about Nigeria, which is very, very sad. Yes, so it's a stereotype, as you put it. Isn't it also another thing that we can look at, like, Probably the earlier or the early Nigerians in Europe might have done something wrong and that stuck. And it seems it cannot be corrected. What, what do you make of it? Is it that something already occurred mm. which has not been corrected? Yes, I think in that, um, in that regards, probably um, I, I may not be able to, you know, talk categorically as regards you know people who have been in Germany before maybe in other countries because um, of some of course it's not just peculiar to Nigeria mm -hmm. you know there are you know people from other countries who perpetrate you know commit crimes and frauds and other things mm -hmm. you know it's not just a Nigerian thing yeah. but I think that's the image that most other you know African brothers and sisters form of um, the Nigerian you know uh, populist that oh Nigerian, you know, uh, youths are frauds or, you know, um, in terms of internet frauds and all sort of things, you know. But that is, you know, that, you know, uh, some uh, very uh, limited number of people, you know, you know, perpetrate some, uh, uh, you know, criminal, you know, acts does not mean that we can use that to generalize uh, uh, for the whole entire populace of the Nigerian, you know, uh, uh, people, you know, it is true that there are some, you know, Nigerian 
guys who commit you know some atrocities you know here and there maybe in the u.s and the uk and some other places and so people you know tend to form these images as, as you know as a nigerian thing but that is not to say that there are lots and lots of nigerian people nigerian youths who are doing you know uh, very well in their you know re respective field of you know or uh, endeavors you know in medicine in economics and you know talk of in sports and every other endeavor so uh it is true that there are some bad hacks, you know, among, you know, uh, which is, like I said, it's not peculiar to Nigeria. It's in every nation, you yeah. know. But I think the present crop of Nigerians are correcting them, that, that wrong impression. Yeah. So, this is your favorite show, Meet the Child Show. We're going for a break. When we come back, I'll tell you a story. Or my personal experience with the Nigerians. And Mr. Peter might also tell us his personal experience, I mean, on the topic. Keep watching. Yeah, so we are back on your favorite show, Meet Charles, and we are on the topic, correcting the wrong impression of Nigerians in the diaspora. For me, I think they are the best people you could see in Europe, in America, and everywhere you go. You can use all the adjectives to qualify them. They are cool, they are nice, they are best, they are accommodating, they are amazing people. That is to me. I have been with hundreds of Nigerians, I mean hundreds of them, and I have no negative story to say about any of them. I can't write even one. So what is happening? Is it that when they see me, they are okay with me, or they prefer to do me good, or they prefer to associate with me so well, but do the other thing with other people? Or what is the story? Who is cooking up these stories? Why do you put up this negative image about your fellow Africans? Why do we hear so much bad stories about people from Africa? So to me, they are the best of people you could also meet on this planet. Uh, Mr. Peter, you were talking. Have you had any personal experience? Has anybody t tagged you with that image? Has that image affected you in getting a job? or getting or passing through anything that you have applied for? Have you missed any application deadline? I mean, have you missed out or failed in anything because you're Nigerian or because of that tag? Um, well, I must say that I have not had a personal experience as regards um, you know, um, that affects or affected me, you know, uh, negatively, you know, as a result of, you know, uh, my uh, uh, country of origin, being a Nigerian. Probably if I have to limit it to since I've been in, um, in, in Germany, you know, I have not, you know, experienced you know, that sort of thing, you know. The, of course, like I said earlier, there is this image you know that people form you know uh, of african as um you know people who are you know sort of uh violent or criminally you know or minded or something uh, but i have not had any personal experience as regards that you understand because uh virtually all the the african you know people that i meet you know uh, who are colleagues who are friends you know who are from other african countries you know I believe that we have related well, you know, though some have shared their experience, you know, because they feel that, oh, because of this, um, in the, it's in the news that some, you know, Nigerians who uh, do some, you know, drug peddling or, uh, but not in Germany here, probably in other countries yeah. and other something. And not you know. only Nigerians do this. So, so it's Many so, so, so like I said, it's, 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 it's exactly so illegal things. people from different continents, you know, do peddling, they do internet for us. So it's not just about Nigeria. So personally, uh, I've not had any experience 
like anybody treating me you know, negatively because I am from Nigeria. Or, so it's, 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 it, I haven't had such an experience. Yeah. So we're going for a break. This is your favorite show, the MC show. Keep watching. This is your favorite show, the MC show. So, we are still here with Mr. Niger uh, Mr. Peter from Nigeria. Yeah. So, um, Pete, Mr. Peter, I, I may ask this question, and th that could be your last submission too. If the tag isn't true, if the tag is wrong, if the stories are being co concocted, if they are not what it is, What c can be said about the Nigerian? Who is the Nigerian? Or who is a Nigerian? Or what can be said about people from Africa or West Africa? Or let's limit it to um, your country of origin, Nigeria. Who is a Nigerian? Or who is a Nigerian that we all need to know or watch out when we meet him or her? Well, that's, that's, um, that's a very nice question. But I believe that it's, um, it's, uh, it's a subjective question because um, everybody, you know, has, um, uh, is entitled to his own definition of what a true or a typical Nigeria, Nigerian, you know, represents. But mm -hmm. to me, uh, I, I think uh, a typical, you know, Nigerian, you know, uh, youth is, uh, is an intelligent, you know, hardworking, um, you know, uh, nice young man you know that you can you know ever meet you know nigerians are very sociable people they're very friendly people they're uh you know very hard working you know i believe that you know when a nigerian you know gets to a particular place you know he has to create you know carve a niche for himself you know if he doesn't have you know if a nigerian comes into you know Gottingen and doesn't know anybody i'm sure give him a month he would have you know sought himself out you know so there's this resilient spirit, this never say die, you know, attitude, you know, of every Nigerian. They are very, you know, intelligent and enterprising people. You understand? So, you know, the Nigerian are, they are different, you know, uh, like three basic tri tri tribes in, in Nigeria, the, the Yorubas, the Igbo and the uh, Aousas, you know. The Hibos who are very enterprising, you know, when they get to any place, they create, you know, businesses, they create opportunities and... You mean the Igbos? The Igbos, you know, mm -hmm. so it's... I mean, that, that's a tribe that is the most enterprising, you know, tribe in Nigeria and they're full of intelligent, you know, and people. And then the Yoruba people are, you know, known for their, you know, academic, you know, vibrance, you know. So, so Nigerians are doing well. The houses you know. are known for their leadership so, qualities and skills. So, mm -hmm. so, I mean, Nigerians are all over the world, you know, go to the best universities in the world and then you see Nigerians and Africans are, you know, Topping the chart of departments in medicine and economics, and you know whatever you can talk of, even in Germany here, you know some Nigerians are some of the finest, you know, brains and brands that you can find anywhere. So Nigerians are good, loving, and hardworking people who would always, you know, find a way wherever they find themselves. Yeah. So just as he put it, Nigerians try to carve a niche for themselves. They brighten the corner where they find themselves. They are nice people, like I told you earlier. Try to stay, get a Nigerian as a friend and learn more from what a true person could be. This is your favorite show, Meet Charles. This is where we end today's discussion. I will come your way sometime with another discussion, another topic about Africa, about Nigeria, or other people in, in the diaspora. This is where we draw curtains. We'd like to say goodbye to everyone watching us now. Thank you, viewers. <laughs> Thank you.